So good afternoon everyone. It's so nice to see you guys today. Um, the topic that I'll be speaking over today is just one that the Lord has really placed on my heart. Lately, for the past few weeks, I've just been feeling from the Spirit just on the power of healing. Um, so that will be the, the title of our message today, The Power of Healing. And just long story short, a week ago, um, I was in the prayer room and one of my classmates, he, he walked up to me and he told me, hey, um, I really feel like the Lord's going to use your hands in a powerful way. And I've been thinking about that lately a lot in my mind. And I'm just like, Lord, what do you mean by that? How are you going to use my hands? And he basically just told me that he sees the Lord using my hands to heal people and heal through the power of the Lord. So I've just been speaking to the Lord a lot lately about that power and what does that mean? And then the Lord brought me to this Bible verse, Acts 3, 1 through 8. And it says, One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer. At three in the afternoon, now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him and, and so did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his full attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I do give in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and ankles be became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went, then he went with them into the temple courts, walking, jumping, and praising the Lord. So as I read this Bible verse, I'm just like, wow, like through the power of two men of God, someone was healed. And it's like, why isn't that happening today in our generation? Why aren't people walking in the power of the Lord, commanding people to be healed? just by a touch of a hand, just by the laying of one's, one's body part, or even like our garments. So through this, I'm just like, Lord, like, what is it? Why don't we have the urgency to, to really walk in the power that you've given us? What are we lacking in it? What is it? We look at these big time healer that's Todd White and so many other, then we say, wow, if only we could heal like them, and why can they do it, but we can't? But the Lord says we can do it. He, he's given each and every one the same gift. So just as, I'm gonna show you guys a video right now and it's just from Todd White. And it's like, why can't we do this? So if we can just give our attention to this video. One of the questions that I hear asked a lot is like, how do you know who to pray for? I mean, you're in a mall, or you're in this place, or you're in that place. And how do you know who to pray for? The easiest thing to do is to get up in the morning every day and say, Lord God, I don't want to see people through my eyes. I want to see through your eyes. I want to see people through the heart of heaven. We're in New York City, the city that never sleeps. And we're down here filming in Times Square. It's such a fast life. People need the love of God. So I'm just so thankful that we're here. There's me. Ankle? In your foot? And we saw a kid with, with crutches and actually prayed for his ankle. Where's your pain at? Point to where it is. Right here? in Jesus' name. Ankle, we command you be healed in Jesus' name right now. Move it. Stand on it, man. Stand on it. Come on, man. Give me your crutches. I ain't gonna steal them. Jump. Come on, man. Yeah. And then all of a sudden people started coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. We had so many encounters. Okay, let me see your feet. That's like two inches, that's way short. In Jesus' name, left leg, I command you grow right now. Jesus' name. <laughs> Did you feel? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Jesus is amazing, he loves you so much. Father, I thank you that you love Bridget so much, God, that you would make her wrist completely whole right now. 
every ligament, every tendon, every cartilage. I command you be made whole in Jesus' name. Let me see it again. Yeah, it'll be gone. Come on, this is real. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that you love her so much, God. Check it again. She'll be done. Come on. That's the gospel. Come on, man. You put your hand on his shoulder, addiction, I curse you and command you. Let him go. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I give you everything. I give you everything. I want my family back. I want my family back. But I need you most. But I need you most. And I invite you. And I invite you right now. Right now. To come in. To come in. And dominate my heart. And dominate my And heart. transform my life. Transform your life. I submit. I submit. And give up. And give up. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Wash me. Wash me. And wipe me clean. Wipe me clean. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name, God. You heard his heart. Addiction, I curse you and command you. Get out. Get out. You're a violation of everything good. I command you, let him go. In Jesus' name. God, I thank you. Jesus' name. Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much. How far are we away from Times Square? A oh, way far away from Times Square. And the kid goes, hey, can, hey, can you hear my shoulder? My arm hurts. And so we're like, let's get him. I don't even know what was going on. I'm like, thank God that you just send him. Were you in the Times Square? Is that where you were? You see him freak out, man? Here he came up and had a problem with his shoulder. He broke his collarbone. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus, God. In Jesus' name, that right now his shoulder would be completely healed, that his collarbone would be healed. What are you feeling there? Is it loosening? It? <laughs> it's good. Raise it up, man. What's up, Adam? What's up? Bring it around, man. Do everything you couldn't do. I guarantee it's done. And then God give me a word of knowledge about the other kid that was with him about my dreams. I cancel you and command you let him go. In Jesus' name. You feel that? Is that funky? Is it tingly in your head? Come on, God, more. In Jesus' name, more. So I prayed from the beginning, God, give me your heart, give me your eyes. I want to see people who they're created by, who you created them to be. Because they may not know it yet. So God, I'm asking you for your heart so I, can, so I can just approach them with your heart. So you can just approach somebody with love. And it's just as important if you tell somebody that God loves them and they're amazing as it is if you pray for them to get out of the wheelchair. Both are equally important in heaven. So I don't always know like, who to approach. I just go through my day and I touch as many as I can in the time that I have. So, um, as we see, like, I just feel like we're so star, we're so starstruck by, by these big men of God and women of God that can do this miracle of healing and, and just do these things in the name of Jesus and in the name of Christ. But it's like, we, we all have that power. You right there, you have that power. You have that power, but we're so stuck in our seats and just we lack urgency and we're so stuck in focusing in and just the big names it's like even with celebrities we're so stuck on starstruck so i was reading matthew 9 20 and as i'm reading i'm looking at all the miracles the lord did throughout matthew and the gospels and i'm like in this book he he healed the woman that had this this bleeding disorder it says just then a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the edge of his clock. And this is basically his garment, like what he was wearing. She didn't even physically touch him. So she said to herself, if only I touch his clock, I will be healed. If only she could touch a piece, a piece of his clothing, she would receive something from the Lord. How many of us think that way? We, we think that if only we can get one glimpse of the Lord, we would be healed, but we don't. And if we continue to read, um, Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter. He said, your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed in that instant. So it just took one moment of her, her, of her faithfulness and even believing that his clothing can heal. And I'm like, if Jesus is that, then why can't we do that? 
Because if we look at John 14, 12, 14, it says, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do and greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If I, if you ask me anything in my name, I will do. So basically, the Lord is saying that he had to leave to be with God so that we can do things greater than what he did. So if the Lord healed this woman that had this bleeding disorder, he healed so many, the blind, the, these people that couldn't walk, as we saw in, um, in Acts. He healed all these people, but he's telling us that he's leaving so we can do things even greater than him. So I'm thinking to myself, how much more greater can we actually do than what he already did? But he, his word says that we're going to do even greater. So that, that just blows my, my mind to know that my hands, your hands, and your even your clothing have the power to heal people by just one word, by just us saying, hey, can I pray for you? Um, I don't know what you believe, but I know that I have the power to heal. Like, if I can lay my hand on you or even just give you a prayer, I have the power to heal you. And it, the thing is, we lack belief. We don't have the belief that we can actually heal a person. I can actually heal you or that you can actually heal me. But I can, and I know even for myself, sometimes it's hard to believe that my hands can actually heal someone that can't walk or heal someone that has cancer. But it's like, no, we've been given that authority through the Holy Spirit. We've been given that authority through Jesus Christ. So it's like, we need to wake up. We need to have urgency to really go out into the streets, go out outside of our churches, outside of our comfort zone and, and heal. We, we've been given that power too. So it's like, we need to awaken. And I don't know what it's going to take for us to to really awaken and go into the church, um, go into hospitals and lay hands on those kids that have cancer, lay hands on people that are dying, that are on their deathbed. What is it gonna take for us to, to wake up to the power the Lord has given us? We have healing and just a quick testimony. This weekend I was at a convention and it was a youth convention and there was this lady there, she was on crutches. She had just gotten stitches and she couldn't walk. And she was walking around in crutches and we were at the altar call and you know, Holy Spirit and all glory be to the Lord, but the Lord led me to, to pray for her. And in this, as I said at the start of the preaching, um, I had a classmate that's been telling me that, hey, the Lord wants to use you for healing. So I'm really like, like I've been contemplating this, praying about it. I'm like, Lord, can you really use me to heal other people? And I'm just like debating. And so this weekend, I really saw that the Lord did want to use me. Um. This lady, she's crying, and I see her on her crutches, so I'm like, okay, Lord, this is what you want to do. You want to use me to heal this woman. But as soon as I walk up to her, she's like, no, don't pray for me, for my life. Pray that the Lord heals my, me, like the inner me. Like, I'm broken. I'm, I'm fake, and I just, I'm disgusting. So I'm just like, okay, maybe you don't want to use me, Lord. So I'm just like, okay, so I pray for this lady, but... Throughout the prayer, I'm just like, Lord, but still, like, I want you to hear her leg. Like, I know she told me not to pray for this, but I, I believe that you're going to heal her through the laying of my hands. So as soon as I'm done praying for her, um, this lady on crutches, sitting on the chair, she wakes, she gets up, and we're, like, just there. We're done praying. So she just, like, hold on, like, my leg feels better, and I'm, like, okay god like i don't know like, i don't know what's going on so and then she starts walking and and in the midst of it it's an altar call so there's like thousands of youth there crying getting their breakthrough deliverance and this woman's just like walking letting go of her crutches and we're like oh my god no take your crutches like i had an instant where i'm like okay maybe she's not really healed take your crutches but no the lord healed her so i'm just like all glory be to the lord but like he used my hands to heal her and that was the moment of like wake up call for me. Like, bro, like you are gonna be one that the Lord uses to heal. So that's just my little testimony of this weekend, but I just really wanna challenge you guys with, in the next few days, in the next few, few weeks, really seek the Lord to see how he can use you to heal others, how he wants to use you. Like, even if you don't believe it, seek your word, even, See John 14, 12 through 14, where he says that he left us so that we can do greater things in his name. 
And I don't know if you don't think that healing others by our hands is greater, but it is. Like, what greater gift can you bring someone to the Lord by? By you showing them a miracle, by you showing them that, hey, our God is still alive through the Holy Spirit. So I just want to pray out and I just really want to challenge you guys to really seek the Lord for the power that he wants to give you and the authority that he has already given you through the Holy Spirit. So Lord, and now I just ask that the words that have been shared in this place today will just touch the heart and just minister, Lord, and that you will really just awaken the hearts to a greater anointing and a greater authority to what you want to do in their lives. And, and in your powerful and mighty name, Lord, we just pray. Amen.